I'm happy live from Techie Corner. In today's video, we'll be learning about how to install a HSDP USB modem to get a fast, secure, and uninterrupted data connection. So, if you like this video, click on the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and click on the notification icon to get notified when this video are posted. Thanks and God bless. So, now let's get to the work. So, after inputting your modem into your USB port, you're going to get the notification on your dashboard and with the notification sound so let's wait for it to load up so you can see the sound so let's click on the drive so this is the setup let's run the setup so give it a administration control the user control do you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC click on yes choose your language you prefer click on ok so then click on next this is the folder the file folder in which the hsp usb modem will be installed to if you are okay with it click on it at least it's going to need 7.8 of your free disk click on next so this is going to be the name the shortcuts in which you will be showing on your desktop site so and let's install it now the installation is successfully now it's writing driver installation let's wait for the driver to install so driver has been installed successfully so you cannot try it out and if you can see here it's just added to it yeah the usb modem just added so let's click on finish so it's enticing the device now so this device is available for all network so you can see the network here there glow hamptin tss lime jamaica anywhere they are using a subscriber internet module the same so it's really goes with it safaricom it is a lot so this is not just for nigeria alone you can see the china mobile you can see china unicom for the phone internet and lots more so when you click on connect it's going to authenticate it but right now there is no there is no network on this sim so it's not really connecting so you can disconnect it so over here is the statistic here you'll be looking how your data is being uploaded into the internet and the download of the data in which you can you are receiving so you can minimize it up here and also here so you can just bring it up here again so for this you can actually make a call yeah plus two three four you can type it in with your keyboard or you write it with the on-screen keyboard so you can call you can hand your call so let me call it you can see right now it's calling this particular number so you can cut it off so your sms if you, you can receive sms from it you can make a call from it so let's load the sms so these are the sms available on the phone just click on the sms you want to view yeah you can see you can feel your bank account connection you can see how everything is so here's a phone book let's load up let's load up what we have in our sim so we have no contact on it look at the record so a record of the call in which you make the accepted more like your mobile device so your your system your pc can work as your mobile device you can even type your ussd code so just like the normal bank if you're using any bank code so 919 just send it and it's going to connect so that's how it is now we have the connection back here so let's click on connect so it's on the sketch scene let's wait for it to get finish so anytime your connection has been authenticated and it is connected your usb modem is going to bring up a flash so the the lights won't be stable but it's going to bring down the flash and you can actually check it over here click on the wi-fi icon you can see the wireless terminal terminal is going to show connected so that's how it really work so you can even if you put it on airplane mode the wi-fi is stick on the wireless 
terminal is still going to connect so thanks for your time if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe to your youtube channel and click on the notification icon to get notified when videos are posted thanks for your time and god bless